Remember, I've taught it in this house, the law of consistency. Come, Mike. If the law of consistency is, is the scripture that the Bible says, whosoever you serve, the slave of that person you will become thereof. It's just paraphrasing. That means that if um, I go to pray, you will be surprised that I can struggle with prayer because I'm really doing it in the flesh. But it's not to be discouraged. I will go back again and do it. I will go back again the fourth, fifth, sixth time. As I keep repeating that activity, I am whatever spirit on earth is responsible for prayer, which of course is the Holy Ghost, but the dimension of his operation that supplies grace and the staying power in prayer is being attracted through my consistency. You see that? A day will come I will go for prayer and live back in the power of that spirit. From that day, you can't stop praying again. Are we together? It's true. Even in your sleep, you will be praying and wake up because they, you have become a slave to the influence of that spirit. Same thing with giving. Give, you can frown and carry your seed and God gives you an instruction and you are angry. And then because the grace for it has not been given. But you continue in obedience. Your consistency is drawing to your life. That grace is called the power to lay it down. The grace that conquers greed. A day will come where that grace overwhelms you. At that point, there is nothing you cannot give God, including your life. And like Jesus, you will say, I have the power to lay it down. There is nothing God can give you. At that point, he can give you everything because he knows he will release it. So you can see two people and one can easily give. He can carry his whole salary. He can carry his life savings. And another person will give 10 naira and come back and say, are you aware that I gave 10 naira today? Say, I used to give 5 naira before. I, even me, I'm impressed with myself. That person is operating just in the flesh. Of course, God is, is a faithful and merciful God. But when people are operating by the spirit, how you know is that they are under the influence of that spirit. It's not something mechanical again. When the spirit of revelation comes upon you, whether you are studying the Bible before you preach or not, it's only you that will know. Nobody walking with you will know that this guy has not read the Bible for one month. It's only you and God. You will never use the, the, the limitation of revelation because the spirit of revelation through your consistency of scripture has come upon you and rested upon you. Are we together? And because that dimension of the spirit has rested upon you, you will find out it is possible to close your Bible for one year and yet you are teaching volumes of series. It is only you and God that will know that you have not been opening your Bible. But you will be surprised that you are quoting scriptures you know nothing about. You can open your Bible on stage like this, like I'm standing to preach. And on stage, when you are about to preach, that's when your sermon comes. In less than one second. Because the spirit of revelation is upon you. You can literally get up to preach not knowing what to say. And people think you have been preparing for 10 days, one week for the conference. And you finish that's why you see all these things are not necessarily measures of spiritual maturity because there is a grace watch this these demon spirits till today until Jesus comes they are searching for bodies to find expression they are in our fathers that's why our fathers behave unusually they are in our mothers that's why they behave unusually wife that's the mystery behind the stubbornness and your wise decisions of your husband. He may be well-meaning. Notice that most of those people, a time can come, they are calm and understanding and peaceful and cooperative. And then suddenly something comes. When you are bringing someone out of a prison cell, there's a sign here that you will never steal anybody's thing. You will sign and say, I won't do anything. Say, oh yeah be born again I'm, I, I, I will be a serious person I will even be serious for the first two days he will go to the farm doing well until that spirit now knows there is a stronghold are we together I will teach you this on deliverance there is already a doorway that allows it 
so the spirit goes on vacation as that brother is in the farm he will make another person annoy him because all these attributes of the flesh are doors with a simple anger it returns it has entered the guy doesn't know all of a sudden the guy gets up and says you hit me and beats him and kills him he's back to the prison he's wondering what am i doing on my way back to the prison the spirit has come back to his house because when a spirit leaves a man it doesn't wave at you it allows for some time the frustration of a lack of habitation will make it come back and say that womb i left let me go back and find out what is there oh there is a child there now that home i went there is joy now i need a space for myself and the moment they find expression they will have to start executing their own attributes have you not been surprised look at those who steal if they are under the influence of that demon hide anything anywhere the person will stand is like word of knowledge he will just look around and say lift that carpet you will carry the money there he doesn't know it's true i'm telling you this you know i'm not lying you hide the money anywhere one day you hide it inside the ceiling he will just stand and stand and look up the spirit is saying look up that's where it is lest satan should take advantage of us for we are not ignorant i have taught you now that the realm of the spirit can assist men the same way when you see so that you stop this counseling that doesn't make sense you see an unusual thief an unusual troublemaker a man who marries 11 wives and is not tired that man does not need counsel what's the name of that group that used to discipline men that social group social welfare even if you like report him to EFCC there is a spirit a normal man should be satisfied with his wife alone the moment a spirit comes no unusual characteristics unusual attributes unusual wickedness when a man carries a knife and takes one of our little ones here and is slaughtering a baby like this my brother my sister that's not a normal human being a spirit is using his hands to hold a knife remember that when these spirits show up they are so wicked jesus said one of the signs he says before the coming of god it shall be like the days of noah that means there will be a repeat of this again these spirits in an unusual way will multiply wickedness but the hope is that the power of god too and the assistance from heaven will also be multiplied upon the saints that means that the revivals that are coming you will see dimensions of the spirit at work in a man that you have never seen in church history spirit so accidents don't just happen no you are just driving and then the car just veers off my brother the car did not just veer off a spirit attempted in frustration to either kill you don't feel bad don't feel bad whether that happened to your loved ones so that's why god is teaching us a pastor can have a ministry and when the ministry wants to rise because he's ignorant of this that spirit can enter him and all of a sudden you will find out that is five months of intense hatred from members they will hate you for no cause and the ministry dies less satan should take an advantage of me demons can enter people demons can enter homes they can enter churches when they enter they execute the will of satan you can be born again they will not touch your spirit but i guarantee you they will come to your mind and build a fortification around your mind and still feel safe as though they were in your spirit so that your being born again makes no difference as far as you are concerned let our king be lifted oh.